international events. So I will listen to the discussion this afternoon. I will uh, then vote, uh, as, as we all have to do, at the appropriate time, and then I'm happy to talk to you about it after that. Mr. Murray, one of the aspects of your uh, anti-poverty plan is uh, making transit more affordable for low-income people in Toronto. The a report on that issue has now been delayed uh, at least twice, which from May, it's supposed to come uh, today, it hasn't happened. Um, I was speaking to some advocates, uh, even an advisor to uh, that plan, who's saying that uh, this is evidence, perhaps, that the impetus, the political will, uh, is not behind your property plan anymore. So, What's your response to that? Well, the first response I would give is that the best indication of the impetus behind this is a decision that was taken uh, in the first weeks I was the mayor of Toronto, which was to do the single biggest thing that has been done to help people who might need help struggling to pay their transit costs by making transit free uh, for children 12 and under. And I can tell you right now, uh, from the feedback that I've received from families, from parents, from teachers, from nonprofit groups, uh, that they say it has made a significant difference with the people I intended it to make a difference with principally, which were those who were struggling to pay those transit fares for kids before when they were going shopping or going to school or going on a field trip or whatever. And I'm proud of that, and it cost millions of dollars. Um, I will also say that the report is being written by the city staff. I don't control the timing on which they finish their reports. I would want them to do it carefully uh, and to, do, to think these things through. They're big items. They're important items, and it will come uh, when it's ready. And I would also go on to say furthermore that I had a meeting, uh, I guess, about a month ago with all of the uh, leading uh, anti-poverty and people who advised us on poverty reduction, so I'm sure whoever you spoke to was there. And I made it very clear to them that whatever comes forward, it will not be implemented until such time as Presto is not only fully implemented across the system, but is stable in terms of how it's operating, because it is simply not practical or possible, and I think most people out there would understand this, to implement some kind of a program across the board like this uh, until such time as you have a card where it can be done based on programming of that card as opposed to having people lined up. I don't know, what are we going to have them do? Line up and show their tax return? I mean, it's not practical. And, and, the, and by the way, when I mentioned that uh, to the uh, anti-poverty uh, activists who were here at my invitation and to meet with me, there wasn't one of them who took issue with that, uh, that suggestion. So um, the report will come forward and we will uh, try our best. And it's not just for people with uh, lower incomes. As you know, there's also been quite a discussion going on about people with differing abilities and whether we should be doing more. Some of them now have access to a, to a reduced fare and some don't. Uh, so we've got to address a number of these issues and uh, we'll address them when we have recommendations. Well, I look, again, I said to them that uh, the Presto card has had some issues with respect to its implementation in terms of timing and with respect to stability, and I just made it clear. Until it's fully and properly implemented, meaning it's stable, um, we're not going to be sort of uh, starting to uh, to add these kind of uh, things on uh, to it, but that I that I'll look forward to the report. The report doesn't need to wait for that, but it's just that I'm I'm trying to make sure people are realistic in terms of their expectations of when anything like this might be uh, seen to be in place, because it can't be in place until Presto is implemented and working properly. Last question.